with everything that happened this past Wednesday, we're extremely just blessed and grateful to be in the position we are in. You know, a lot of people kind of wondered if when you guys started winning those first couple games Thursday practice, this might be kind of the team of destiny feel for this tournament. Mm -hmm. Now that you guys have won the whole thing, do you kind of feel a little bit that way? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think we felt that since the beginning, um, especially the, the big one over the field. And then when we were coming down the nets, uh, we all just gathered together and, and said that we did it. Um, and I think the big message um, Coach talked to us afterwards is we're not done yet. You guys are playing Oklahoma State out in Indianapolis. It's going to be a lot of Wolverine fans there, of course. But just what are the initial thoughts on getting the Cowboys in a pretty dangerous game well Honestly, I don't think anybody's really gave it as much thought. Um, we, I don't know personally anything about them, so uh, we have an extra day to prepare since we play on Friday. Um, we'll be well prepared. DJ, it's been a back and forth season. Early on, Big Ten play, you guys struggled, but down the stretch, you turned into the hottest team in the Big Ten. What's the secret? I think we just all bought in at the right time. Um, we all just had a sense of confidence in one another at the right time, and we got things working. How many more nets are you hoping to add to the collection this these next couple weeks? As many more as I can. <laughs> what does uh, this tournament say about the Big Ten? I mean, people have been risking kind of mm -hmm. talking about this conference being down this year, but what is the tournament and the depth of, of this conference? What have we seen about that this weekend? I think just from top to bottom, it's been competitive. Um, all throughout the year, and I think this tournament kind of just showed it. Anybody can play with anybody. Um, so, I don't know, it's a battle every single game. What about in the NCAAs? you got seven Big Ten teams in terms of what can you guys do as a conference in this tournament? Um, I think just, I mean, since we played against all of them, I think we're all dangerous, um, honestly. We all bring a different aspect um, to the floor. Um, so, like I said, I think we're all just dangerous. Talk about the defensive effort today. That seems where you won the game. Yeah, I don't know how many threes they hit or what they shot from three, but I think that was a big thing, just winning the three uh, three point attempts, like we've been doing the second half of the year, and then just post defense. Um, the coach has told us the best post defense is allowing no catches and then uh, limiting their opportunities uh, in the post. And I think our bigs did a great job as, long, uh, as well as that. I thought you were going to go windmill. Did you change your mind? Man, <laughs> I told the guys uh, if they threw it up, I was going to go windmill it, and then. <laughs> I went to do it and it just lost it. I lost it, um, but it went in, so I'm not really tripping. Talk about this. Have you ever had this much fun playing basketball? I've never had that much fun. I think the last two minutes when we realized that we kind of just sealed the deal. Um, I, I can't remember the last time I've been that happy. Were you secretly hoping for the uh, Sacramento draw in the tournament so you get some family over there? No, nah, not really. Um, I didn't really care. I, I'm just glad we made it. Are they able to watch it from back home? Yeah, um, everybody was tuned in. Okay. Can you put into words how it feels to be a Big Ten champ? I can. I can. Words can't describe it. They can't. No. Um, those last two minutes when you guys 